Have you ever wondered why are wings important in a plane? Wings provide the force to the airplane that takes it up against the force of gravity due to the earth. An airplane wing is specially designed so that the air that passes around it actually helps lift up the plane. It is also streamlined in shape so that the plane can move at maximum speed. Their main purpose is to allow the plane to fly at a higher angle compared to the relative wind and is locked up to the ship the oncoming air over to the top surface of the wing. This allows the wing to maintain lift at a lower speed such as when in landing. Wing Structure The wings of an aircraft are designed to lift into the air. Their particular design for any given aircraft depends on a number of factors, such as size, weight, use of the aircraft, desired speed in flight and at landing, and desired rate of climb. Aluminum is the most common material from which to construct wings, but they can be put cover with the fabric and occasionally a magnesium alloy has been used. Moreover, modern aircraft wings entirely made in carbon fiber or rather composite materials exist as well as wings made of combination of materials from maximum strength to weight performance. The internal structure of most wings are made up of spars, stringer, running spanwise, ribs, informer or bulkhead running cordwise leading edge trailing edge. So first the spars. Spars are the principal structure members of the wings. They correspond to the longerons of the fuselage. They run parallel to the lateral axis of the aircraft from the fuselage toward to the tip of the wing and are usually attached to the fuselage by wing fittings, plane beams, or a truss. Spars may be made of a metal, wood, or composite materials depending on the design criteria of a specific aircraft. Wooden spars are usually made from spruce. They can be generally classified into four different types by the cross-sectional configuration. They may be solid, back-shaped, partly hollow, and the form of an I beam. So next, the ribs. Ribs are the structural cross pieces that combine with the spars and stringers to make up the framework of the wing. They usually extend from the wing leading edge to the rear part to the trailing edge of the wing. The ribs give the wing its cumbered shape and transmit the load from the skin and stringer to the spars. Similar ribs are also used in ailerons, elevators, rudders, and stabilizers. Wing ribs are usually manufactured from either wood or metal. Lastly, the stringers. Stringers are axial members used to achieve the most bending capacity. If we assume that a distributed air pressure is applied at the top of bottom skin of wing, the skin is thin and has a little bending stiffness to resist the air pressure. To avoid the large deflection in the skin, Longitudinal stringers can be added to pick up the air loads. The stiffness are usually slender axial members with a moderate amount of bending stiffness. Therefore, the transverse loads picked up by the stiffness must be transferred quickly to more rigid ribs or frames to avoid excessive deflections. In general, wing construction is based on one of the three fundamental designs. This includes the monospar wing, the multispar wing, and the box beam. The monospar wing incorporates only one main longitudinal member in its construction to carry the loads. The ribs or bulkhead supply the necessary contour or shape to the airfoil. This type of design is modified since it has an additional false spars or light shear webs through the trailing edge for support of control surfaces. However, the strict monospar wing is not a common design used in an aircraft. Multispar wing, on the other hand, incorporates more than one main longitudinal member in its construction. Ribs or bulkheads are also used to provide contour or shape to the airfoil. This type of design is used as it gives the equivalent overall strength of the wing. But since the design has multiple smaller spars, it has a thinner wing or tail structure. The box beam or box bar uses two main longitudinal members with connecting bulkheads to furnish additional strength 
and to give contour to the wing. Tensile and compressive stresses are carried in the top and bottom of the box beam, and the sides act as webs to give the beam rigidity. The top and bottom of the box beam oppose the greatest loads and are the strongest parts of the beam. Wing Configuration Wings are airfoils that, when moved rapidly through the air, create lift. They are built in many shapes and sizes. Wing design can vary to provide certain desirable flight characteristics. Wings can be symmetrical, asymmetrical, curved, straight, narrow, and such depending on the build of the aircraft or what they are for. 5 Wing Configurations Low Wing It is mounted near or below the bottom of the fuselage. Mid Wing Mounted approximately halfway up the fuselage. Shoulder Wing Mounted on the upper part or shoulder of the fuselage, slightly below the top. A shoulder wing is sometimes considered a subtype of high wing. High wing Mounted on the upper part of the fuselage. When contrasted to the shoulder wing, applies to a wing mounted on a projection above the top of the main fuselage. Parasol wing Raised clear above the top of the fuselage, typically by cabin struts or pylons. Next, we can identify the type of an aircraft according to the number of their wings. Fixed wing aircrafts can have different number of wings such as triplane, quadruplane, and multiplane. One example of the triplane is the 1917 Fokker DR-1 or simply the Fokker plane. It was a World War fighter aircraft built by Fokker. And the white quadruplane was a British single-seat quadruplane fighter aircraft used also in the World War I. Lastly, John's multiplane, it was a very large, unsuccessful experimental aircraft having seven wings and six ailerons. On to the last slide. To support itself, a wing has to be a rigid and strong and consequently may be heavy. By adding external bracing, the weight can be greatly reduced. Originally, such bracing was always present but it causes a large amount of drag at higher speeds and that has not been used for faster designs since the early 1930s. Cantilevered wing has a self-supporting design. All the structure is buried under the aerodynamic skin, giving a clean appearance with low drag. While brace aircrafts have the design, the wings are supported by the external structural members. Nearly all multi-plane designs are braced. Some monoplanes, especially early designs, such as the Fokker Indaker are also braced to save weight. There are two types of braced wings. The first type is the strut brace. One or more stiff struts help to support the wing, as on the Fokker D7, a strut may act in compression or tension at different points in the flight regime. The second type of brace is the wired brace. Alone, as on the Boeing T-26 e shooter or more usually, in addition to struts, tension wires also help to support the wing. Unlike a strut, a wire can only act in tension. Man must rise above the earth, to the top of the atmosphere and beyond, for only thus will he fully understand the world in which he lives. And that concludes our presentation. I hope you learned something from this presentation and thank you for listening. Have a nice day.